Uh, today on my segment, Popcorn Classics, we have Dick Tracy starring Warren Beatty. Oh, well, and this I is, actually um, have a movie instead that I want to just uh, surprise you with. This is a little surprise on your end. This okay. time I brought in a movie. All right. So put, okay. put well. Dick Tracy away. Put the dick back in your pants. <laughs> uh, can we use that? I don't know if we can get away with that. Uh, I brought in Star Trek IV. Um, if anyone listens to the podcast, they'll know that there's been a big disagreement between Greg and I on the plot of Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan. Greg seems to insist that Star Trek II is where they go back to San Francisco. Yeah, but what's true right. is, is Star Trek IV is the one where uh, they go back to San Francisco. For Listen to this. Kirk and his crew must travel, must time travel back to 1986. You're reading off the card or off no, the box? No, I'm, I'm reading off the box. Crew must, Kirk, Kirk must, true crew, Kirk and his crew must time travel back to 1986 San Francisco where they find a world of punk, pizza, and exact change buses that are as alien as anything they've ever encountered in the far reaches of the galaxy. That's the plot of Star Trek IV. Argument over, argument settled. I have been proven correct once again. Now, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, is where they go to San Francisco. The voyage home, they go back into space. That's where their home is. That's the voyage home. No, they're from Earth. They have, that's where they're going back to Earth, the voyage home. I don't home. think Spock is from Earth. I don't think you've seen anything like that on Earth. And Star Trek IV... Guys, if you guys know the answer this to this... This is I'm, not the artwork from Star Trek IV. That's... This is not a real, there's no hologram. You see, that's how you could tell a pirate. This video. is the original. If you look at a legitimate video, like the Dick Tracy video. Oh, this is a pirated video too. Oh no, it's, see, here's the security seal. There's no security seal. Well, there is a security seal. It says 71797 right underneath the That's called a seal. catalog number, so it doesn't mean anything. Anyway, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan is a great movie. I don't know what's on that tape. It's probably Star Wars 2 because that's a pirate that you probably got in Malaysia or something. That's not something that they would sell uh, at a real store here because you go to jail for piracy and you should. And Dick Tracy with Warren Beatty is also a film that we recommend. Audience, would you call and write to this guy, this nut here and tell him that Star Trek 4, if you just watch it, is them going back. It says it right in the movie. It says the, on the credit title sequence says Star Trek IV, and then they go back to San Francisco. It's not that hard to explain. Well, Star it's Trek not II hard to splice something like Star Trek II, which was the second movie after Star Trek The Motion Picture. They go back to San Francisco. Star Trek IV is about San Francisco. Thank you guys very much, and we'll see you next week. Star Trek II, they go to San Francisco. Star Trek IV, they go home into space where okay. they came well, from. Well, you're wrong. I'm right. Thanks, and He's enjoy the film. He's not from San enjoy Francisco. So what do you got uh, for us this week? This one's even better. Uh, this week, let's just say I've gone to San Francisco to uh, settle an argument. Can you show the thing? Hollywood, California. Every street has a story. And these are but just a few on On Cinema, On Location. Hey guys, we're here at the site of San Francisco's famous Star Trek II filming location. If you've ever seen Star Trek II, you will see Spock and Captain Kirk standing right here in Star Trek II uh, in front of this backdrop. And we have come here to prove once and for all that the film Star Trek II was shot right here in San Francisco. Here's your photographic proof, Tim Heidecker. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Well, that didn't prove anything. Um, yeah, it did. Because no, it we didn't had the prove footage. anything, Greg. We had you the footage and we had the still. Yes, you had footage from Star Trek IV, and you just said it was Star Trek II. It was Star Trek IV. No, I had I, footage. No, shut up for a second. I, I had shut footage from the street of San Francisco. I didn't have this footage from given Star to me Trek by IV. One of you guys you out there. The shut up! This was given to me by a fan out there. He sent it to me. Thank you very much. This is the novelization of Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. 
Okay, this is a novel by Vonda Mc... This is this will settle the, the deal. Listen to this. Uh, but their trip is interrupted by the appearance of a mysterious, all-powerful intruder. Suddenly, Kirk, Spock, and the rest of the crew must journey back through time to 20th century Earth. For they, only there can they save the future by rescuing the past. And they have San Francisco right on the. It's book. not an official book. It is an official book. It's a story by Leonard Nimoy and Harv Bennett. So we. Well, Leonard Nimoy's made a whole career of doing things that kind of relate to Star Trek. It doesn't mean it's the official story. This is the official novelization, a novel based on Paramount Pictures' Supreme Space Adventure, Star Trek Exactly, IV. based on this adventure of the whole Star Trek series. It's the Trek general series. story. It's where they go it's, back to San Francisco. It's not that hard to explain. No, because it's, have you seen The Hobbit? This is the building. Because this they're is the making building. three movies of The Hobbit, but it's only one book. This book compiles the first four Star Trek movies, the plots, and combines them into one book, just as The Hobbit book combines the three no, movies. It, no, it I says Star it. Trek IV right here. Not all the Star Trek movies are in this book because they then it would just be, say, Star Trek, all the movies. And I, could, I could buy a book about this. the history of the Jefferson Airplane and it would mention San Francisco, but that doesn't mean that's the basis of the Star Trek movie. That's what this is, the voyage home. They go back to Earth and are in San Francisco. No, I that, can't do it anymore. I can't listen to this bullshit from book, you. That hey. book is a compilation of the first four Star Trek movies into one book. Chief Medical Officer Christine Ch uh, Chapel stood in the midst of the chaos of Starfleet's command major mission room. Huge curved windows presented by 180 degree views of, let me hear it, San Francisco Okay, what Bay. page is that? What page is that? 59. Okay, that proves my point. If it's that early in the book, it's because the second movie, when you take Star Trek, put them into one me? book. No, the Star Trek II, the San Francisco movie, it's going to be pretty early in the book. It's no. going to be somewhere around page 59. This is Star Trek IV. It's all this book is. No, they're telling you that all four movies are in one book. Star Trek IV, the four original movies. It's an interesting book. It's not as full of detail as the four movies are. You can't compress four movies into a book and have it really um, cover as much ground. So I would say the book, I give right. two bags of popcorn. But right. Star Trek II, which is set in San Francisco, I give five bags of popcorn. It's a popcorn classic. All right. Well, listen, I uh, have enjoyed having you on as a guest. Well, it's been good to be here and to settle this argument once and for all. Okay. You're so, right. You're right. I know. Okay. And thank you very much for yeah. being a part no, of this. No, I'm glad that we settled the argument because thank a lot you. of people Hold have been on. confused Let in renting the wrong up. Star Shut Trek. Shut up. Thank you for being a part of the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I... Honestly, do not think that it's a good match to have you on the show anymore. I think it's uh, uh, there's too much uh, conflict here, and I, I can't have all that this much conflict in my life right now. So I will need to make an adjustment with my guests, and uh, uh, I appreciate uh, everything you've done for the show, all the segments you've produced, and uh, I, I just don't think it's going to work out anymore. So uh, all the best, and... Um, Guys, we will uh, rejigger things here and figure out a new guest for next week. But uh, Greg Turkington's no longer part of the show. So thanks for watching. And I will Do you know if Star War, Star Trek, the second movie was the one set in San Francisco, or was it the fourth? With Star uh, Trek, Star Trek, the, the motion, the movies? movies. Yeah. She doesn't watch the movies. The, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh yeah. Have you seen them? No. But the one no, where they go I back to San Francisco, of course, and, uh, is the second one. Well, I don't know. We don't listen that? to him. Let's He's out of his mind. That. He's had too much champagne. See, that is... Well, you know Charlie? what? I'll call you when I get home and find yeah. out, okay? <laughs> He's ruining the whole interview. I'm, yeah, I mean, we have this argument whether or not Star Trek II was set in San Francisco. It wasn't. It was Star Trek IV. Anyways, that's not why you're that's here. That's the old thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, okay. that old sort of argument. Then you have two right. If well, you get this next, this is amazing. If you get the next one right here, you win the $1,000. If you get it wrong, you get nothing. Let's put it up on the screen. Star Trek Two. Incorrect. That's Star Trek Four. Star Trek Four: The Voyage Home, starring William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and DeForest Kelly. That's obviously still from Star Trek Two. Oh my Trek God, II. Greg! Because you could I see fired that you they're... from the show last season because of this. 
Are you seriously going to tell me? And you brought me back because you were wrong. No. You, you made a mistake. Okay. Because that's Look Star it Trek up. 2. That's it. Cancel well, I have looked it up. Done. I've seen Thank the you. movie so many times. It's Star okay. Trek Thanks 2. Thanks for watching. They're shot, it's shot in San Francisco. Okay. This is well, stupid. You could have won $1,000 if you just get off your Well, no. I should get it. I should get $7,000 or whatever it was that you were offering because I got the first one right. And that's Star Trek 2. Look it up. Go to Internet Movie Database. Go to Wikipedia or something. That's Star Trek 2. Yeah, this is an interesting Star Trek movie in that it was directed by the guy that made The Fast and the Furious. And there's going to be some Trek heads out there that are going to say, that's a little bit too much like The Fast and Furious, but in outer space with spaceships. And that's true, but I actually think this is the best Star Trek movie since uh, Star Trek II, which was set in San Francisco. Uh, I really love this movie. It's great to see the gang back. I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and... Uh, Klingon Cola, how about that? Mm. Whatever that is. Final question. You're familiar with the Star Trek uh, franchise? The movie franchise? I'm not so much into the TV one, but the, the original movies and also the remakes, yes. Okay, and can you clarify for, uh, for the court here? Uh, Star Trek II mm -hmm. was... Uh, was that shot? Was that did that uh, show? Did that movie take place in San Francisco? Yes, it did. San Francisco shot there and also set there because the uh, the Starship Enterprise returns to San Francisco. Okay, and to jump ahead, Star Trek Four does not take place in no, San Francisco. That takes place a place in outer space. I have like no most further. of the Star Trek movies do. I have no further questions here. Thank you very much. Uh, just for the record, may you state your, uh, your full name and uh, spell your last name, please. Nicholas Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R. Thank you, Mr. Meyer. And Mr. Meyer, can you give the uh, court and the jury here a little background? I know you've already mentioned the nomination of the Oscar, which is very exciting, but give us a, a little more background uh, on uh, your career. I've written, directed a bunch of movies over the years. Uh, including um, some of the Star Trek uh, films, the, the Day After, my anti-nuclear mm -hmm. film. Okay, I think that gives us a pretty good background. Um, you mentioned Star Trek, uh, which, uh, you, the, the television show, the movies, or? I co-wrote and directed Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I co-wrote and directed Star Trek VI, the Undiscovered Country, and I co-wrote but did not direct Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, which was directed by Leonard Nimoy. Okay, I'd like to uh, speak uh, briefly about Star Trek IV, the subtitle of which uh, you just said was... The I didn't. I'm sorry, the, you, the title of, of Star Trek IV... The, the full Voyage title, Home. The Voyage Home. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in, in, uh, as a screenwriter, you've Pretty familiar with the story of, of that, that. Yes, movie. I'm pretty familiar. With the story. <laughs> yeah, I would hope so. Uh, when you say, when the, when you say home in in that uh, in that title, what does home refer to? Earth. Okay. Uh, Earth. So the Star Trek gang is out in space, and their voyage in that episode in that movie is to Earth. Yes. Okay. And it, specifically, though, is there a location? Uh, in that film where San Francisco they, they go to San Francisco no. No. they in start so I'm sorry can you repeat that because we had some an outburst here in where does the the uh, main plot of Star Trek 4 take place the crew of the Enterprise returns to Earth seeking the help of humpback whales to answer a probe from outer space with a matching signal. In Star Trek II. Mr. Tarkington, one warning and a one warning only. One more outburst and you'll be dismissed from this okay. courtroom. Just trying to get Excuse me, Your Honor, I don't see the relevance of Mr. Meyer's testimony as to the Star Trek movies. The relevance is you brought this fraud here, T Greg Turkington, as an expert witness yes. when his understanding, his basic understanding of movies is, is uh, there is none. He, he, he doesn't seem to understand very fundamental aspects of film. May I ask you again, Mr. Meyer, where does the plot of Star Trek IV take place? What city? 
San Francisco. Thank you. In Star Trek II, you also directed and wrote Star Trek II. Yes. Does any of that movie take place in San Francisco? Yes, there are actually a couple of scenes that are set in San Francisco. They weren't filmed there, but the Starfleet Academy, the simulator room, those were intended to be San Francisco, and Kirk's apartment overlooks San Francisco Bay. It's a set. Hold on. That's what I've been saying. No. Mr. Torkington. San Francisco. Can we, I don't know, uh, this is, it's a kangaroo yeah, course. Would you please assist Mr. Torkington in finding the hallway? set in San Francisco, Star Trek II. Star Trek II is not set in San Francisco. He set in, he directed it. Did, he can you clarify Torkington. your answer because you're being very vague, sir. I'm being vague. No. Star Trek II. Star Trek II, the plot, you would not classify the plot of Star Trek II as being set in San Francisco. No, what I said were that there were a couple of scenes in the movie that were set but not filmed in San Francisco. If you were asked, a man on the street, which, which episode, which Star Trek movie takes place in San Francisco, your answer would be? Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Thank you. No further questions.